All right, this is kind of cool. I like this. Coming here in the middle of the night, kind of a nice setting. Nobody around to bother you. Just a relaxed, chill vlog. This is where we have a little coffee with Conti on the vlog, and we talk all things Corvette. There's so much going on with Corvette. And I say good morning because that's you know, the time it is when I'm doing the vlog. But whenever you take a moment to check in right here on the channel, thanks a lot for doing so, guys. Seriously, I really do appreciate you joining us for Coffee with Conti. <laughs> is, this, is this the prop coffee from last week? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it, oh, and it says, don't drink. <laughs> prop coffee, don't drink. I had to do that. So many of you guys commented, text, emailed, and made comments on the channel from last week. They said, Prop Coffee, man, that was pretty funny. And I don't know, I just kind of pulled that one out of thin air. That was fun. But this is, uh, this is definitely Prop Coffee. <laughs> I'm going to milk that as long as I can, right? Oh, but no, we have our regular... Ah, we have our coffee mugs, too. Uh, welcome to the program, guys. I do have a lot to cover, so don't, don't go anywhere. Hang on. I, I need a sip, please. Just a small one. Mm. Let me set this down. More on those coming up in a future vlog. Hey, real quick, before we get going into the topics, lots of topics today. Last call here for your garage Corvette pictures. Even you folks in the warmer climates that are just waiting for tomorrow morning to take your car out, send us the pictures of your Corvettes in your garage. That's gonna be just part of our special Christmas edition vlog next weekend. Email address has been up on the screen. Look forward to seeing those of you who sent them in so far. Yes, that, I told you I'm gonna use them sometime in December. That's when we're gonna use them next weekend in our Christmas edition vlog. Matter of fact, next weekend in our Coffee with Conti Christmas edition vlog, I'm going to be reading the Twas the Night Before Christmas Corvette edition for you guys. I'm going to have all kinds of cool Corvette giveaways. I'm going to show you the making of my Corvette Christmas card, and then we're going to feature a little bit of my Corvette Christmas tree. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you tune in next weekend. It'll either be Saturday or Sunday, depending on how the week goes. I know, let's get on with it. Okay, let me put this down because I'm Italian and I like to talk with my hands. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so let's jump right into it. Not what I wanted to talk about, but it's being talked about all over the place. I'm getting emails and text messages and calls. Hey, hey, Rick, did, did, did you know that the, the C8 program is delayed? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Who do you think broke the story? <laughs> we did right here on this channel. Two videos on that. And I took all kinds of ridicule, all kinds of kicks in the head. <laughs> Yeah, I got everywhere I was getting it. Uh, it was nuts, and it was from the non-believers. I don't understand. How can a car be delayed if it's not announced yet? If it isn't announced yet, what do you do? It's not delayed. I'm just confused. Well, let me just tell you this. Just because you put your boots in the oven, it doesn't make them biscuits. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that was worthy of some prop coffee. And yeah, guys, guys, oh my gosh, we called it. You know what that's called? That's called Intel. And I did those videos, not that I wanted to go, hey, I want to go do a YouTube video and talk about the C8 being delayed. The marketplace needed somebody to step up and stand up and say, hey, man, here's what's going on. So I had a little bit of intel. I didn't share everything with you, but just enough to settle people down because the inquiries I'm getting are just, just by the hundreds, which is a good thing because there's a want, there's a desire, there's a demand for the new Corvette. But don't forget, we still have a great car right now. So I wanted to guide you guys because a lot of people are on the fence trying to make a decision. Somebody just, nobody was saying anything. So I represent this car with such great pride. I love sharing the experiences when you guys buy this car. I'm committed to this thing, man, with passion, compassion, integrity, intensity, tenacity. <laughs> yeah, man, Ricky's in it to win it. So I, I'm not gonna just do a YouTube video to talk about something. So I was trying to give you guys the intel. It was just to give you guys some kind of idea what was going on in the marketplace and to help in your decision. Buying this car is a big deal. We've talked about that. We share that on this channel. I put myself out there at great risk, not to <laughs> get kicked in the head uh, in other places uh, because I do care about you guys and I do care how this car is represented. And hey, I'm excited too. Is something cool coming? Let's face it, I already know the C8 car is done. And what's been done and what I've been told, the thing is just freaking amazing. So they got some hiccups. Okay, no big deal. What do we say in those couple of vlogs? And let it happen, man. Just let it, we know it's gonna happen. I mean, my gosh, they're too, they're too far along to go back now. Just relax. Give the guys their support. Let them, let them do their job and present the car to the world as we want it presented. 
complete, right, rock star, ready to go. Yeah, man. Well, we also talked about the possibility what's going to happen and when is it going to happen as far as the reveal of the C8 mid-engine Corvette. It's like, okay, does the C8 still become a 2020 car, which I know is really, 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 really what they want to do, or do you call it a 2021? because that is now a possibility and has crept into the conversations. That's what I thought a couple of weeks ago, and now I would have to just go on record with you guys and say, uh, I feel at this point, not only do we need to wait, but I think it will become a 2021 car. But let's get you guys excited about C7 again. <laughs> you gave up already? This is a great car. There's many great stories to tell, and I'm gonna to continue to do that right here on this channel. What do you think? I got my point across on that. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for the support, you guys. You know, I just, I don't want to beat a dead horse and I don't want people to get sick of the car before it's announced. Uh, it's a car that's going to be worth the wait. Let the guys do their job. Let's give them their support. Can you imagine how they're scrambling right now, the Corvette team? This was not in the cards. The car's done. So they got a couple glitches. Okay, so they're going to work it out. So it's right when they present it to us. But with every intention, 2019 was supposed to be the end of C7, so they're probably scrambling. Hey, let's come up with a special edition. Hey, they got new colors. Hey, throw new colors. Hey, okay. <laughs> Just keep it going for us. Uh, regardless of what we get, if nothing, this this is a great car right now. It really is. So what I want to share with you today is, is it's just really a lot of the fun I enjoy doing on the channel, but we break it up on the vlogs, so it's not always the same thing. It's always not Rick delivering cars. So, and I think you guys get that. They've been with us for a little bit. So again, thank you for the support. Uh, today, a uh, little bit of talk on uh, ZR1 for one of our clients in Washington State, and also to a great guy from South Carolina. His name is Chuck, and he come up to take delivery of a Grand Sport. <laughs> a little comedy of errors trying to get that thing ready and uh, end up putting the fender stripes on in front of the customers and uh, in front of you too. <laughs> so, install these. Oh yeah, look at that. Just a nice crisp morning. Now why I cut away from that other scene, I went into the shop where Chuck was and where you saw that Corvette was. Uh, I had planned on putting on the Heritage hash marks. <laughs> the car had nothing on it. It had no hood stinger. We were going to add the hash marks. Uh, it's just been a comedy of errors trying to get stuff from Chevrolet. Uh, twice we got parts with damage on it for the hood stinger. Rescheduled the installer three times. My customer at time of filming this is coming today. The stripes still are here. Well, here's what happened. Well, they were here. I actually walked back here. I had the box. Showed you guys the box. Opened the box. They were red. I needed carbon flash. <sighs> GM accessories. You are killing me, man. I posted on Facebook, and I'm not going to call him because I know he watches the vlog, and I'm actually filming this, and it'll go up the very next day, so there won't be any delay as far as me filming this and sharing it with you guys on the vlog, and then he's not gonna wait a week to see it. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that to the guy, I don't know it's here, but uh, we put on Facebook for Paul in Washington State, and uh, <laughs> it's pretty neat uh, that he actually was here. I've not even shared that segment where he flew out here to meet us and talk about ordering a car. Uh, his car was built 72 hours ago, and his silver ZR1, is here. I was like, oh my gosh, it's crazy. And then the ground effect showed up afterwards. So that's where I'm walking right now. It's okay, I see it. Walking back here to service into uh, well, it used to be our collision center. So now we're uh, our <laughs> lots of Chucks on this channel. So they get a little crazy. Chuck from Oklahoma, Chuck from service. I got Chuck coming today from South Carolina. Stay with us now. Don't get too dizzy. Here she is at low idle. Car. Now, for those of you that aren't on my Facebook page, I love the comment, and I actually filmed it when Paul was here months ago, and I didn't have the mic on. I was using a different mic, and I missed it. So, I want to share with you this comment that I think is awesome for the majority of the demographic that watches my channel. <laughs> it's just modern, modern chrome wheels. Because we're not protecting the age demographic on this car. <laughs> yes, we're seeing younger buyers buy the car, and I think that's great and healthy for the brand. But I just thought it was cute. But he said, "Hey, I'm I'm protecting the age demographic, you know." And in fact, he was here. Let me show you this picture. When he was here, Joe from Ohio had that beautiful Long Beach Red ZR1. He was so excited. He's looking at the car, and he was able to take a selfie right in front of Joe's car. 
Look at this, guys. Seven speed. That's right. It's a pretty car, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. Yeah. Ground effects are here. The one thing I told Chuck when the car came in, I said, hey, man, that ZR1's here. He goes, what? I said, it was just built. I'm like, well, be careful when you take the cover off. I don't think the paint's dry yet. All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's really kind of fast. But I guess, you know, that's the kind of stuff that you'll see this time of the year and the holidays, they don't want that stuff sitting there for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. Nope. So they're trying to clear that lot, you know, and, and it's good for you guys that are ordering cars and they're arriving right now. It looks like they are gonna, you know, kick them out there pretty quick. So I'm excited about that. And if you're looking for specials, year end specials, for those of you, we joked about it before, and some of you, some of you do. Like I'm gonna wait to the end of the year till they really, really wanna sell a Corvette. Okay, <laughs> you got me. I really, really want to sell a Corvette. I always really want to sell a Corvette. You guys are so silly. There are some great deals right now. So check out the links down below. The national TV ad for 2018 Corvettes is GM employee for everybody. And that's a great, that's a great program. We're selling our 18s below GM employee pricing. I got some 2019s that are below GM employee pricing and there's no program on that. That's just from us to you. All right, so when you come to Ohio to pick up a Corvette in December, middle of December, weather is always a concern. Oh, weather's, you know, always going to be a factor. You would assume. <laughs> Not today, man. It's going to be 50 degrees. 50 degrees. And Chuck is here from South Carolina. Good seeing you. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. We've had a lot of conversations, a lot of text messages, and, you know, just about, you know, this, 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 and this. And next thing you know, you go, hey, Rick, you know, I'm really thinking about that. I like that deal on that car. I appreciate that flexibility, man. Yes, sir. And I know you were shopping for this car. Exactly. Yeah, I mean, you watched the channel, so that's why I wasn't even afraid to even ask. I said, here, Rick's coming with the camera. <laughs> he knew it was coming. He's like, oh, man. I think even a little bit this morning on this vlog uh, that C7 is going to be more of a focus and needs to be a focus because I think that people have gotten away from what truly a great value this car really is. Oh, most certainly. I think so as well. I do. This is actually my Christmas present. Is that's it? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's good, man. <laughs> that's good. You know, he and I talked on the phone. He's like, oh, I want to do some things. And, you know, I made suggestions. Hey, what about the hood stinger? So, bam, there you go. Got a hood stinger and we're going to do the heritage hash marks on both sides which we talked about earlier it came in red and <laughs> delayed and overnighted so we're waiting on the overnight but when you order the car you can't do just the hood stinger and the heritage hash marks so that's what's nice right. having the flexibility to do that now after the fact and really customize it and those are easy to do right. and i'm going to show you guys how to put those on and i'm going to be doing them here in just a little bit but it also has the uh, grand sport mat. mat yeah now that's my uh, soapy water using for the thing later Oh, now this is what's considered the... Uh, the logo part. The shield or whatever. Well, yeah, this is the shade part that comes shade, in your 2LT. Yeah, right. And then the accessory one that comes with the logo, I've talked about that too. People's like, oh, okay, so it goes right there, but the only way you'd ever see the darn thing is if you're standing over top of the car. And the other neat thing I like about the shade cover is when you do have the top off in a sunny day, you don't get any sun glare from the top, which would go right here and shoot directly into your rear view mirror. So it, it buffers that, that glare that would, you know, kind of, you know, blind you in your eye exactly. a little bit. Exactly. And I started looking for the new and went to several dealerships in the local. Yes. And they just couldn't do or wouldn't do what I thought. And mm -hmm. one day I was, I don't know, just because I'm not a computer person, but I just went on YouTube and was looking at something and you, you popped up and I said, well, let's see what he's got. And um, okay. it seemed that at first I thought maybe you were a little full of it. You know, <clears throat> well, I mean, people coming from so far to one place to buy a car, so on and so forth. I never heard anybody tell me that, but, but okay. <laughs> but I mean, that, that comes from years in law enforcement. You know? But um, <sighs> comes to find out it's the deal and it was the deal and right. everything was true as what it was. And, right. and that's why I'm here today. I mean, otherwise I, I, I mean, that. I have a dealership an hour away that I could have gone to. and There's not a night that doesn't go by when I drive home and I think about, you know, if I'm doing a long drive or something, and I think about how far, I really do, even 20-some you know, years I've been doing this, almost 24, and how far people come. Right. That either that they're driving here to get here, I think about how impactful that is, or when you're leaving and how far you're driving home, I really think about that and I just think, you know, wow, man, I mean, just how freaking cool that is. And I'm very thankful and appreciative at the opportunities. And having fun through the channel uh, has been a way to, to really market that. But I think about, you know, guys, this guy's driving this and driving this, driving this. That, that, that's something. Thank you. Thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you yes, for that. Sir, thank and you. I never know what you guys are thinking because sometimes I do get people that will watch and 
uh, I'm not a subscriber, I don't know how, or I don't comment. Or We've all had bad, not car, just bad retail purchase experiences. So it puts you on the defense right away. And especially with you being previous law enforcement. Oh, no, certainly, yes sir. Yeah, I mean, I talk about me being a bloodhound. I'm sure, you, <laughs> I'm sure your nose is twisted a few times too. It's like, let me see what's going on with this. But I mean, yeah, you, you start to, to, to be very cautious in those things. So uh, it was neat that you were coming up here and you entrusted in us and uh, we're doing some business, man. So this there is cool. Go. I got so many things to share with well, you guys. Chuck didn't do this one. No, no, Chuck did not do this one, but he did do, when we get a car from another dealership, we do what's called another soft PDI. Mm -hmm. So he goes back through it, checks all the electrical well, systems. I was just saying it because you know how he lines up. The oh yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, now I know why you said that. That's funny, dude. <laughs> okay. That's a nice little high five on that. I catch it all. I catch it all. We're stalling doing some vlog feel talking to chuck from south carolina waiting for the fedex truck to get here which is not here <laughs> <laughs> so i can put the fender hash marks on for you guys okay so we're talking off camera and i had to turn the camera back on real quick so we're talking about the roads and my perception for you guys in south carolina i'm thinking you know southern climate warmer climate did you guys have decent roads <laughs> chuck goes oh no he goes from what i've seen up here in ohio you guys have some really good roads <laughs> <laughs> Most certainly, yes sir, that's the truth. Now, anybody watching in Ohio right now, they're like, what did he say? Good, how about yourself? Good. Um, See what that box is? That's the Fender hash marks. It's gotta go into parts, check them in, and then Sean will be out here to give them to me. Just <laughs> 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 bring them right on over here, man. We were waiting for you. I said, Sean will be on in a second. Did you open the box this time, they're black, not red? Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. Thanks, GM. Okay, we're back in the other shop. We're gonna put the fender hash marks on. All part of Chuck's delivery. This is, this is not something that I really wanted to do in front of the customer, but ah, what the heck. this up with that seam right there these come down don't go over this lip yeah looks good man yeah we're getting Chuck ready to go got the uh, white ZR1 getting ready to ship and then if I stand over here you could see a little bit of the contrast between the white and the ceramic gray Chuck said it's a good thing I came up here this car was sold already Rick <laughs> it's neat isn't it I had to find a different tech book <laughs> Oh, you guys see a little bit of the difference there? There's your white, there's your ceramic gray. Thank you. Thank you very much for everything. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. My pleasure. All right, so I'm going to come on the other side. Thanks for uh, seriously allowing me to share this yes, on, the, on the channel. You know, I don't want people to be intimidated by this. This is just, just a casual thing. This is part of my my day-to-day -day dealings, though, but this is about you guys. Yes, sir. I mean, you're keeping the market moving. C7, it's awesome. Great. All right. Now don't, car. don't pull out just yet. I am going to do a, a send off pat. Congratulations to Chuck in South Carolina. Yeah. Okay, so last week on the channel, we showed you this car. It was a little wet. Well, now it's shipping to Marco Island, Florida. Lou, thank you for the business. I appreciate that. Let me show you this, guys. The car's cleaned up. Can you see that okay? I'm not sure how well it's turning out. I'll be honest with you guys. When that option first came out and I saw that, I'm like, what are you guys doing to the carbon fiber on the ZR1? 
Leave that alone. Show this off. It's beautiful. But you know what, though? This is not too much. It's not as gaudy as I thought it was going to be. And it's tastefully done. It still gives the carbon fiber an opportunity to pop and show through and still just look dynamic, as we all love. But uh, that's kind of neat, you racing fans. This is a race car. Jake Hoodstinger. All right, I hope the truck gets here soon. Rain is coming. It's inevitable. It's unfortunate because this beautiful blue Z06 is going to Braden in Louisville, Kentucky. Competition seat car with red seat belts, black wheels, and red calipers. 2019 Elkhart Lake Blue. Man, is that hot. Congratulations, Braden. Thank you so much for the opportunity, man. And even though it's not a big wing car, we're still gonna, we still get rubbed the wing. <laughs> Lou and Joyce in Florida, congratulations. A little send off pack. Rubbing that wing. Congratulations. Thank you for the business, guys, and Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs>